Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and this is a tutorial which was actually requested by one of my subscribers to design a part which you can see for the drawing which you can see on the left side of my screen. So this is a drawing and uh, we're supposed to create the part for that. So uh, we are the last part of the tutorial and uh, here we're gonna uh, do this piping so the construction layout is already done and a few more steps to go so keep watching. I've created a plane there. I'll come to the sketch. And similarly, I'm creating. I highly recommend that uh, you watch all the part, all the uh, the two previous parts of this particular tutorial to know what exactly has happened. Tangency. Let's select these two lines here. Project it to 3D and trim the remaining. Alright, now I'll just uh, use a split command to trim this. Oh, that was really. Okay, that does a thing. Split definition. Okay, that does a thing. And uh, we need another one over here, so the same plane will do that. Uh, of diameter 40 tangency select these two lines project it to 3d trim this select these two lines and make it axis lines again come here Split definition, split the line, other side, okay, split the line, other side, okay. Now we need the same thing over here, so in this case we can actually, uh, we need a plane anyways over here. So once that plane is done, we don't have to do it from the scratch. We'll just project these curves. Well, there's actually some problem. This particular line seemed to be a little bigger. This diameter 40. Okay, now it's clear. I'll just come to the sketch and I'll just project it to 3D and I'll do the same thing split this particular line I didn't mean to do that this particular line split with this this line with this alright that does a thing just again come to this particular sketch and project it to 3D here. Come out of the sketch and uh, use the split command once again. Select this, split this, and this is a cutting element. Split this and this is a cutting element. Right. Um, okay. So actually the wireframe work is actually complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle at this particular point and the radius of the circle is going to be 20 and uh, the support is going to be the YZ axis. So it's going to be the YZ axis. So I've got a circle there. I'll just go for the sweep command. Select so this. Before going to the sweep command, I'll just join all these curves because uh, these curves are gonna uh, serve as the path of our circle. So after selecting all of these, just click on OK, join, and use the sweep command. Select the circle and the guide curve and uh, preview alright 
Now just come to the part design workbench insert surface base feature, close surface and just select this sweep here click OK and you can actually hide the what do you call the what do you call there yeah the sweep hide the sweep and you can actually see the part is being done and now you can hide the join and hide the different points being used in this and hide this planes etc and etc okay and hide these planes so that's the complete part and that's all about the designing of this particular part which my subscriber has asked and if you have any doubts any clarifications regarding this tutorial please feel free to ask me please feel free to write to me at kitia.pro.user at gmail.com c-a-t-i-a.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting back to you whenever I find time and uh, that's all and if you have any doubts or if you if you want me to look into any projects or anything I'll be there to help you and uh, that's all stay tuned guys thank you for watching